Make no question about it, folks. There is a cursed generation before us, a cursed children. Beast-like people. Children that are being programmed, prepared, far exceeding the Nazi regime. that have no value for human life. Where their enemy has become no different than playing a video game. Where dropping mass weapons of mass destruction is just politically correct. It's a sad day when war becomes fashionable. When war becomes entertainment. When war is glamorized in every movie, video game. When it becomes a billion dollar industry, war becomes a billion dollar industry. Giving young people a brainwashing that makes them think that war is glamorous. When our troops came back from Vietnam, they were not considered heroes. They were spit on. When our troops come back from Afghanistan and some of them have committed such beast-like atrocities, we herald them as heroes. I tell you, this is a cursed generation. The scripture calls them beasts. How can a grown man have no value for human life and then come home and embrace his children when he just destroyed someone else's. It makes you wonder what's their motive for going to war when they know the stark truth that it's not about fighting for a country. Why do they go? Why do they deploy? Why do they sign up? The United States of America is not under a mandatory draft. Many go into the military because they think it's a future for them and their families. Because they consider it an occupation. They consider it a job. And they get paid.
only they're not going to build a home. They're not going to do an honest work. They're going to murder innocent people. You say, well, how can you say they're innocent? The people, it's not they're the people, it's the leaders that need to be removed. It's the leaders that need to be received justice. And if the military fights, then it's the, their military. But dropping weapons of mass destruction and doing the things that we, and I say we, as Americans, as the military did, we as Americans should be ashamed. Ashamed of the atrocities that were committed against little children and mamas and daughters. We know the really only terrorist attack ever took place in the United States was when the Twin Towers were attacked. And this gives us a right to drop bombs and completely destroy human life for a few thousand people in the United States when the whole thing was an inside job? When our military said, stand down, don't protect, don't defend, We've got soldiers that are playing death metal music while they're blowing away human life. Laughing. Making jokes. When they say, light them up. No value for human life. None. I tell you folks, America's days are numbered. This is not justice. What we did in the Middle East is not justice. We should be ashamed. Do you know, by me saying these words, the government would look at me as a traitor, look at me as being with the terrorists? Because I say to this nation, we need to be ashamed of ourselves. I stand first. I had no idea what I was saying when I was agreeing because Bush made it seem so right. Had no knowledge of what they were doing and I was cheering our government on. I was cheering our military on. Not thinking of the consequences. I'll be the first to say it right now in this broadcast on air. I am sorry. I am sorry for what we Americans have done to these people. All in the name of justice. Justice has not been served. 
This country doesn't even know what justice is anymore. The judicial system is corrupt. This nation is corrupt. America is a cursed people. The blessing of God was once on this nation. The nations feared America. Now most hate America. We are guilty. America, Americans, we're guilty. If we agree we're as guilty of the, as they that pull the trigger. I'm not against justice. I'm not against taking out those that have committed crimes. I'm against injustice. And I believe my Heavenly Father is against injustice. And what we have been doing for the last 12, 14 years has been injustice. Not just the last 14 years, but these, these are the years that I can comprehend. All the wars. False pretense. The bomb, Hiroshima. People still suffering with cancer. Where does it end? When you have mad scientists that are producing weapons of mass destruction. A minister asked God one day, he said, he says, God, when are you going to bring an end to this? And the Lord said, I'm going to have to do it soon. He says, if I don't, he said, the fools will blow themselves up. I don't know what it does for you, but when I see one of my fellow Americans, one of my servicemen that go in to protect me, so-called protect me from the terrorists, quote-unquote. I do believe there's a radical element. I do believe that. But is it worth where our sadistic military, like Nazis, enjoy inflicting suffering upon little children, upon mothers, little girls, little boys, and animals even, sadistic. And they wonder why they come back home with post-traumatic syndrome. They come back and they can't cope. No wonder you can't cope. Do you even know why you go? You're just part of a corporation. You're expendable. See, if this kind of message was given to the American... If this kind of message was given to the military, if they heard this, I would be considered a traitor to my country. But be forewarned. I'm not a citizen of the United States of America. I'm a citizen of heaven. 
I'm an ambassador of Jesus Christ. I've been born again. My blood is not the blood of an American. I have the blood of Jesus Christ flowing in my veins. And I'm telling you folks, the righteous indignation, the boiling point. Why? Why can't these people that are willing to become weapons in the hands of criminals understand what they're doing? Now, I'm not going to not continue to mention that I am not against justice. But what's been going on in our military for years now has not been justice. They're crimes against humanity. And when is it going to be enough? Soon, George Bush Sr., one of the greatest war crime criminals, will die. He'll meet his doom. He'll spend eternity in the lake of fire forever. He'll go to the grave with his secrets, just like every one of the brotherhood. When's it going to stop? What's it going to take? The madness. The madness. He didn't say... If the world repents. He said if my people. Which are called by my name. Will humble themselves and pray. If my people. Will turn from their wicked ways. He said he would. Hear in heaven. He forgive their sins. And heal their land. Justice is not being served. This is not justice. This is injustice at its most depraved levels. How come the troops, how come the military, how come they come home and they're not spit on? even though they do what they're told and they serve their country, quote unquote. I'm not against the military. I'm against injustice. I'm not against people. I'm against injustice. I'm not against the United States of America. I'm against injustice. How can we continue to agree with injustice and think God is going to bless this nation? No wonder God allowed a Muslim to become the President of the United States. 
No wonder he allowed it. Doesn't even have a birth certificate. He doesn't even have to open his mouth and he's a liar. Every word out of his mouth when he opens his mouth is criminal. He's a traitor not to the United States of America because he's not a citizen of the United States of America. He's a traitor to humanity. How is it that we can say, let this criminal walk in the shoes of the President of the United States walking down red carpets, flying in Air Force One, on the taxpayer's money, going around the world in photo shoots as a celebrity. How is that possible? Not just Obama. There's been others for years now. Cursed children. Beasts. And we just sleep. Just sleep. Sleep. Knowing the atrocities. Knowing the blood. That is on our hands. As a nation. You say, I can wash my hands just like Pilate. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can, but it's not going to do you any good. But you can't wash your hands of the blood. We're not even talking about the abortions in America. All the blood shed would stop if everybody in the world received the blood of Jesus. If everyone could see Calvary. For what it really is. Just think of the Roman soldiers that crucified Jesus. How bloodthirsty they were. Sadistic enjoyed seeing another person suffer. Those were the Roman soldiers that enjoyed. In fact, they were told, you have to bring this person to the inch of their life. If you kill them, you die. They were not allowed to kill people. Not in the First stages. Can you imagine? They were trained to bring the person to the point before they would die. If they killed the person, they died. You talk about the madness. That's the spirit of Antichrist. That's the spirit of the beast. That's the spirit of the devil. He not only destroys, he enjoys it. You ever open your heart up to that type of thing? You're not human anymore. Do you hear what I said? 
you're not human anymore. When you enjoy seeing someone else suffer, you're not human anymore. It's time to weep. It's time to howl. It's time to repent. Speaking to the church, speaking to God's people, speaking to this nation, America, it's time to howl, America. It's time to wail. We don't have to be cursed children. If we'll repent, we can be blessed children. And our children can be blessed of God. Scripture says they're cursed children made to be taken and cast into hell. But it doesn't have to be that way. Turn. Repent. We can be blessed as a nation. You know, there's still time. This nation can still repent. This nation can still rise up. This nation can still see justice. Not just impeach Obama. He needs to be put behind bars. along with the other war criminals. Will it ever happen? The way things are going, it looks like folks are just wimping out. Where are the courageous? You say, well, I need to go strap a gun on me to be courageous. I don't think so. Jesus didn't have a gun. I got to have a helmet on me and I got to have uh, military boots and I got to go over and serve in Afghanistan before I can be a man. I don't see Jesus dressed that way. What is it that makes a man? Justice. And yet he gave us mercy. Pilate said, Behold the man. He showed him in the garden when they fell back under the power of God, who they were dealing with. When we deserved justice, he gave us mercy. God's been merciful to America. But if America goes and shows injustice and is unmerciful to the nations around us, do you think that God is going to continue to bless this nation? Do you think God's mercies are going to be poured out on this nation when we're not being merciful to those around us? I think not. 